You'd be shocked. It's a good thing. You, you, you know, I was getting so fat, Cal, I switched the scale over to kilograms. <laughs> I swear you're, to God. You're, that picture that you're using for inspiration, yeah. I'm also using that picture. <laughs> I hung the same picture in the gym. I said, I can't be like Bert. Dude, it, it is the worst I've ever, like, and I didn't realize I was that fat. I just was like, I'm having a good time. You don't ever realize you're that fat when you're that fat. Like, I, like now, we were just saying the other day, we were looking at pictures of Bobby from when he filmed this special. I know, but at the time, that's the he Bobby you I know. Yeah, I, it, he didn't right. seem. He just looked like Bobby. He didn't. What's crazy is you're waiting for a fatter Bobby. Right. But he, he and then when he started losing the weight, immediately you're like, God, you look so much better. It's amazing how good he looks. He yeah. really does. Uh, he looks great. He's got good skin. He's got good lips. Now you mix it in with a little skinny body, and he looks fantastic. Sexy yeah. beard. Sexy oh. beard. Yeah. Oh, how, much, yeah. how much are you down in the 52 days? I don't know. Probably 30, I'm guessing. Oh, good. I'm supposed to get to 230 before I start drinking again. And so <laughs> I'm, I'm two, I guess I'm probably 240. I don't know. So on uh, Saturday morning, I, I Friday night I went to dinner. But I'm jacked. Yeah, I'm jacked. <laughs> of course. I'm on steroids pretty heavy. Are you really? Yeah. So oh, is this guy. Yeah. Yeah. So Dude, is this guy. Testosterone is the greatest thing I've ever done in my, my life. My testosterone in May was 150. I just got my blood done and all this stuff. I'm at 840 now. Bro, <laughs> uh, my testosterone is so high, they want to pu- pull me back off. Of <laughs> Same with me. And Same I, with me. And I was like, nah. <laughs> the, my, 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 my longevity doctor and my cardiologist got on the phone. And they were like, and he was like, yo, he's got the testosterone of like an 18-year-old. <laughs> and then my longevity doctor was like, yeah, that's what we're shooting for. <laughs> he's like, nah. So my, my my cardiologist called me and he was like, hey, man, like if you miss a day, don't worry. <laughs> like, you don't need to be strict with this schedule. <laughs> Let some seep out a little Dude, bit. Dude, I love it. I love it. Uh, I, I was, I'm on a bunch of things. I'm on like a uh, uh, b- bunch of vitamins and milk thistle and. Yeah, and but but I, I feel great right now, and I've and I'm the strongest I've ever been. Like I'm legit. I bench two twenty five ten times. I like I feel strong. I'm really strong, but uh, I feel great. I, I think when I get to two thirty, I'm trying to figure out because I don't I don't need to drink. I don't need to drink, right? right. But I like drinking. Like last night, I would have liked to drink. You ha- so you're go- you've gone fifty two days without drinking. And you're not going crazy. Oh, not at all. Really. I don't think about it, and I don't th- like last night was the first night I thought, I'd, and I'm really open and honest about everything because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what it, whatever anything is. So like I've been ket- in ket- ketosis for 52 days, also wow. I haven't had sugar. Good for you. So I uh, so last night I said to my parents, I go tonight's the night because I'm doing a whole Florida run. So like we flew in from Houston to Tampa yesterday, we go tonight to Miami. I'm hanging out with Wade Boggs after this. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to Miami to do Jake Paul's podcast, and then. From Miami going back to LA and then LA to Fresno in a sprinter. Wow. And so but that is when like Jacksonville. In like in middle of October. I thought about going into that. Uh I feel like it's winding down. I want to go see. How about this? Oh. How about this? All right. Why don't you come to Jacksonville? We'll go to Mobile after that. We'll take the private in. Come to Mobile with me. We'll take a private in Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. Go to the Bucks game. That's Cream Sickles Day. Uh-huh. And this then is all sounding wonderful. And then I'm flying back to Mobile that evening. Oh, really? You had to go do the show. I like all this. And like by the way, by the way, there might be an opportunity to fly Hollywood to Tallahassee, Tallahassee to Jacksonville, Jacksonville to Mobile, Mobile to Tampa, all in the same jet. Wow. Yeah, because I want to see the Florida State game too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, that'd be a, that'd be a tight weekend. That'd be a fun I'm in, weekend. I'm in 100. percent Yeah. Okay. 100. <laughs> <100%. laughs> percent Hey, you want to hear though the new thing on the show that developed? I'm not a liar necessarily. I say things like that sounds like a great idea yeah. for me. But now now Galvin will tell you what's gonna really happen. Promises, 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 promises. promises. He'll tell you one thing and he'll do another. <laughs> promises, 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 promises. But Bert's like my long lost brother. <laughs> uh, I'd go. I would go. I mean it's in. uh I'm I'm trying to make I'll sure. text whoever wanna... answers your phone and I'll yeah. make a make some plans. I had such a good time at the at the Bucks game last night. I had yeah. such a great Can time. Can I just tell you though what bothers us so much? What? We have the largest male audience in the state of Florida. Bucks never invite us to nothing. You come in here one day in town, they put you in the field, they put you oh. in a box. You're like, look at me, Bert, up on the screen. Dude, Ronde, Jersey, Ronde, Ronde, and then you Barber, leave the Ronde next day. Knew who I, was. I saw I saw I was, the players I coming was over so here. So freaked out. Rondé Barber came up to me. The GM came up and he was like, 
He was like, yo, Rondé and I hit you up to go have dinner one night. And I'm like, how did I miss it? Like, yeah. If you told me I missed that text, but I got in the moment, I went, oh, yeah, let's do it. So I gave him my number. Yeah. And he's like, I have some beers. And I was like. Oh. This is Jason Light? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, and so, uh, I, but yeah, that, that, that last night was, if, except for us not winning, but it was the coolest. No, it was, it it was, was great. It was a Monday night, night football. football was Monday night football is just insane. Can I tell you my Jason Light story? Yeah, please. I went to dinner one night, and uh, I ran into my friend Don Miggs and his wife, Lisa, and they're having dinner with Jason Light. She's like, sit down, you know, Jason. Jason's like, I listen to the show on the way in. I go in early, and I listen. I was like, oh, yeah. that's pretty cool. We talked about the Bucks a little bit. He's like, yeah, and he goes, you should go on Mike's show. He goes, yeah, after the draft, I'd love to come on. I was like, this is great. I'm like, this relationship. So a couple of weeks later, I go to the game, and I'm on the sidelines of the pregame. And I see him, and he sees me make eye contact, and he goes like this. So I step over to him, right, like to go shake his hand and realize he's looking beyond me as he goes like this. <laughs> and he looks at me, and I go, hey, I'm, uh, and he shakes my hand, and he looks at me, and I go, I'm Mike Calta, I met you that night. He goes, oh, yeah. And he walked away. I went, no! <laughs> I almost vomited right down the side. I've never been blown off as hard as Jason Light blew me off. I mean, we bonded that night. We talked stories. Yeah. We were, I listened to the show. And I was like, hey, and he was like, yeah, that's a, oh. that's, a, that's the kind of guy. Like, like he's when, a good dude. That's you, not no, a bad. When you hang out with yeah. like when you hang out with like football guys, yeah, that guy's a football yeah, guy for sure. Like he's a he's a in the weeds football. Like mm. in the weeds, I love that. Like him and Sap would talk all night about football. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That, I love people that are into one thing. Yeah, like because I I'm into one thing. Yeah. What comedy? Oh, <laughs> I could, I could God, when you talk, I thought I thought we were going. Talking Hassan Minaj for a second. <laughs> when you were like, let me tell you the thing about Cowhead. He's not a liar. I was like, oh, I can't wait to. Was Did he spill uh, baby formula in his bed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bert Kreischer is here. We got some shows coming up that we're going to promote. We're going to talk about. We got to take a break. Oh, you know what yeah, I have to whatever. promote? Uh, we just had. I um, know I'm going to say this wrong. We had open cabins on the, on the cruise. <gasps> I'm going on the cruise. Here's the, Watch yeah. this. Raise your hand if you're going on the cruise in this room. It's going to be, it's going to be a blast. Yeah. Uh, open cabins on the cruise. Here's the even better thing, and I'm going to have to call Leanne to make sure I'm saying this right. Okay. If you are already going on the cruise and you recommend someone, you get $100. Oh, wow. I think. Like a $100 tab? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. But uh, I think it's like 14 cabins opened up this is a big deal because a lot of people when we start talking about going we're like well now we want to go but it's sold out so right. if there's cabins open up get on it now it's going to be absolutely insane oh that's the that's when i was thinking about starting drinking again on the cruise so so like save it i was gonna save it until the it's first month i know it's easy to do it now like well i'm at red rocks on in a couple Ooh. in a week so like part of me wants to drink at red rocks yeah and uh and then the, if I go to the Creamsicles game, we might have to drink. I there. might have to drink there. Yeah. But I was like, you know what I might do? This is going to sound insane. People are going to lose their mind when they hear this. I might just drink twice. <laughs> like a just, regular person. Just, just like, not every day? Just yeah, those just, two events? Just go, hey, I'll drink at Red Rock. When's the last time you did that? Oh, yeah. Buddy. Honestly? Yeah. I was probably 18. Right? 18 when I was like. At 22, I started like a like a bender mentality of like of like you're gonna have drinks every day, yeah. And like you're gonna do something, like whether it's whether it's a cocktail or a couple beers at lunch or whatever, just to keep the machine, yeah, greased. just to keep it greased. And yeah. then so it's 18 is when I was like when I actually did not think about drinking. Okay, so can you do this? I think you could do it. I think I could. I mean, you're pretty I, disciplined when you want to be. I can. Well, I'm good at discipline. Yeah. So like, a guy on Twitter right now is calling you out, saying great. BS that you were, had a beer in your hand at the Bucks game last night, which I said no, that was a coffee. It's cool. Tell him I got a free seat for him at the uh, anywhere in the. Tell him I'll fly him private around the world <laughs> if he can send me a picture right, of right, yeah. that. Or is it no, this? I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, because yeah. it was on your Instagram and you were holding the coffee. I love, I love more than anything. Shout out to that dude who apparently Tried. is definitely a fan because uh -huh. he definitely was i i saw the picture too yeah and i went that looks like a beer mm -hmm. i actually thought that twitter sleuths are the best <laughs> oh, yeah. do they they have and by the way i am guilty with their agatha christie solutions <laughs> <laughs> like when they say stuff like like joe rogan's totally done with ari shafir <laughs> and you're like whoa you watch that video and they've just clipped someone's clearly clipped out moments right, and then pasted them together yeah. Dude, Twitter sleuths had it. Rogan had a had a 
uh, comic on his podcast who got really drunk, and uh, and he thought he had a stroke because he got so drunk. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll tell you after. Yeah. Obviously, I think you could probably guess. <laughs> and uh, and it was bad. It was really bad. And he like it, the it was really bad. And Rogan called me like immediately after. He's like, dude. <laughs> He's like, I think I might be off booze for a while. He was uh, like, it was really upsetting to watch and wow. this and that. And, I, and we talked about it. And it was right around the time that I stopped drinking. It was kind of a little bit of incentive because this guy, yeah, I'll say who after you already probably know, is 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 a big drinker, yeah. And so I, uh, and then Rogan talked about it on a podcast, and Twitter went, no. "It's Birch figure," and I was <laughs> I like, remember, and I literally it bothered me because I was like, "Does that?" I literally was like, "Is that what people think about me?" Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, I was, yeah. yeah. So I was like, "All right, I'll take control of my life in a way that they can't." I feel like I know you, so I know that you're a little bit more in control than it probably seems to a stranger, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, you do. If you didn't know you, I'd be like, "This guy's not gonna make it." Yeah, yeah. Um, so, well, and I, also your bar stool speech got oh yeah, you, you know that yeah. really hyped up the drinker. <laughs> How much you sure. love drinking? Dude, yeah, you should see the dudes like that the, the bros that come up to me and they go, "We play that every Saturday morning." <laughs> oh, my buddy Dave, who is your biggest fan now, yeah. he goes, "Did you see his thing about drinking?" I go, "Yes, of course he did." And then he sent it to me, and I go, "Yes, I know." I saw. He goes, "I watch this all the time. It's so inspiring." <laughs> 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 I'll tell you, I like I'm a meathead, right? I'm a bottom top to bottom meathead. The fact that they play that at fraternity houses Saturday mornings <laughs> oh, before yeah. game day, and they put it in like someone's got it in mashed up in a music. I'll never quit drinking. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dude, that's so far. I man. love that. Yeah. That's everything I'd ever wanted out of my career. That, isn't, that, isn't that the thing though? Like, you, screw Netflix, screw right. everything. If you just gave me that one thing, I'd be like, that's that is like the coolest. That's like when, so funny. Like like Rogan's got those for. Uh, like working out, right, 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 you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Uh, like motivational hero of your own story. Yeah, yeah. Those are cool. Like I listen to Jocko does them, right? Uh, like they're cool. Mine is so me. <laughs> yeah, you're. Yeah, that's what you are. You're the uh, not, what's not Jocko. What's the other guy? David that's Goggins. Like, you're the David Goggins of drinking. <laughs> Who's Dude, gonna I, carry the kegs? Who's gonna <laughs> carry? The, you know, I gotta be honest with you. I swear to God, I was the. F I, I, I this is. I'm talking hype right now, but like, I was the first person to recognize how brilliant. Who's gonna carry the boats? Was because uh, he said that. I, like I'm a big David Goggins fan. Right, you were early Goggins. I'm, I'm an early Goggins fan, but I'm a big Jesse Itzler fan. Like I'm a big that whole circle. Yeah. And so I went on Rogan. God, I don't know how many years he worked out with Cam Haynes before Rogan had seen the video. Who did? David Goggins worked out with Cameron Haynes. Worked out with Cameron Haynes, and I watched it. Cameron Haynes uploaded it, and I watched it immediately. And I did Rogan that week, and I called it out, and I was like. Have you seen him yell, who's going to carry the boats? Uh, like, it's just such a crazy, who's going to carry the boats? And now that's all people say. Yeah, and I, I was like, I was like, like, I, I, I definitely was like, oh, I was one of the first people to notice how great that was. Right, right, right. He, you, were, you were early Goggins, I remember, because I think that's how I found out who he was, you know. That, that mentality, I, I share hints of his brain, but in a different way. Like, for me, it's, it's I, I'm never, like, if I. I noticed that when I quit drinking, I, I turn into him a little bit. Yeah. Where I just, and I, it's you it's, a broke, it's a broken, it's a broken thing. It's it, there is something wrong about that brain. The average, for whatever the reason, the person uh, that procrastinates has. Right. Like when they go, God, I can't get out of my own way. I have the opposite where I can't stop working. Do you want me to have Amanda give you a full therapy session while you're? Uh, <laughs> she's my changing people's so, lives. My therapy's so thick right now. Do you know how hard it is when I have to tell? Uh, I, my people like a doctor or whatever like my wife's a therapist and she works with people for weight loss and other things i choose not to <laughs> i, just, I, I want to figure it. out how to get weight loss out of an eating disorder she what she does is she figures out why you why your brain is getting into routines why you're eating oh at this wow time. right do not get her net near me <laughs> dude my, i am so bad like i didn't i didn't eat I got busy in Houston, right? And my meet and greet was too uh, too much, and I and I didn't eat. My and by the time I got done, my food was cold. I ended up having a cigar, and then bus call was already, and so I didn't eat dinner in Houston. And then cut to yesterday. I wake up, we fly. I didn't eat on the plane. Didn't have coffee. I came back. I slept, and then I get ready to the Bucks game, and my broken brain goes, "You haven't eaten in like twenty four hours. Right. This is great." This is awesome. This is how people lose weight. Don't eat tonight. Don't eat. Don't eat. Don't eat. And then I go to the Bucks game. I'm like, 
I'm like, no food, no food, no food. And then we get to the suite and oh, they have yeah, cheeseburgers. Right there, yeah. <laughs> and, but I, yeah. keto, so I ate just, but I ate like, I mean, I, I ate so much that the people, God bless them, that, were, that allowed us into their box were, they were like, again, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we thought you were a big drinker, not a big eater. I think the woman who allowed us in, I won't say her name, said, you're eating hot dogs like, a, like they're training a dog to sit. 